Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Today's video is part two to what is behind the barn doors in the studio. If you happen to miss part one, I will link it up there somewhere so you can go check that out. So let's get to sliding this barn door out of the way and we'll see what's behind the door. Behind this barn door is loads of scrapbooking things. So I have some cardstock and pattern paper all in their little bins. And then some more cardstock. And coming up to this shelf, I have trimmers and cutters and more bins of stuff, tape runners and glue all back in there. And more tools and supplies in these bins here. And these bins, in case anybody's wondering, I got from Target years ago. I don't know if they're still around, but they've held up really nicely. And you may be wondering, well, why do you have all that scrapbooking stuff? Because you certainly don't scrapbook anymore. And while that is true, I do use some of the materials in my business. So I use a lot of the trimmers and cutting tools um, in the business and specifically to make some of the buffing cloth envelopes. And then I also use the cardstock to make my homemade thank you cards that I send out with each and every piece of artwork. And while I have stacks upon stacks upon more stacks, of finished scrapbooks. Also have a lot of unfinished projects that I would eventually like to do or to complete because they're so close to being done. I thought maybe I would do a quick flip through of one of those unfinished projects which is actually living in this which is a old composition notebook. Um, ones that the kids use in school that are really inexpensive but I took it and I made it into an altered scrapbook. And this is the process of selling our old house and building this new house. And um, it's just kind of fun to walk through and look down at the memories of the process that we went through, packing things up, moving out of the old house. And then I also put in our uh, floor plans that we used from the builder along with different uh, selection or different materials that we selected and this way I can always go back and reference like if we you know a light goes out or we want to match something up we have the paint colors and the different granite colors the laminate colors all of the faucets um, so it's kind of just a nice little reference slash scrapbook. And then of course I put pockets in here and a lot of these little flip out fold outs, um, kitchen cabinet selections, all of the good stuff. But um, here we are clearing the land. We aren't, but <laughs> they are. Um, so it's just kind of a fun little, and you can see I've got some blank pages in here that I eventually want to fill in the areas um, with other things, other pictures and such. And here it is really quite blank. <laughs> so at any rate, there is one of the unfinished projects. I thought you might enjoy seeing it. 
So this is why I am keeping all of that cardstock, all of the tools, all of the papers. Hopefully someday to use. While I don't scrapbook anymore, I still strongly believe in the importance of telling your story and documenting your memories. So while I may not be scrapbooking our vacations anymore, what I'm instead doing is I am painting our photos. So I'm painting specific photos, photos that have a really special meaning to us, and then putting them throughout our house. So my solution to not scrapbooking, but still documenting our daily lives and our memories and stories are these three little journals. And I'm using them as five-year journals. So for example, this was February 21st, or February 1st rather, 2021. And this will be 22, 23, 24, and 25. So each year we'll write just a little blurb, perhaps draw cute little pictures, and um, just kind of document each day and what happened in each day. So some of these have little pictures, some of them just have writing, others have some ephemera from the day, and um, just kind of keep going through them here. But this is my way of still documenting our year and what happened, but little less work than scrapbooking is since I'm also painting and um, can only do so much. So there you have it. Um, it's an easy way if you're interested in documenting your daily lives is to take journals like this, just divide up the lines and you can write in each day. And then I think it'll be really fun to look back at next year um, and see like next year to look back at this year. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of what's behind the barn door. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a great big thumbs up. I would also love to know, do you scrapbook? Have you ever scrapbooked? And if you do or don't, <laughs> what do you do now? to preserve your memories, cherish those stories. I would love to know, leave them below. That's it for me today. If you are interested in finding out what's behind the other barn doors back there, stay tuned. If you aren't subscribed, consider doing so. And if you are subscribed, but aren't getting notified every time I release a new video, then click that bell down there and that will notify you. Again, thanks so much for coming along. We'll talk to you soon and bye for now.